Hello, my name is Jason Swisher, and I'm back playing Railroads Online, one of the newest games to come out uh, recently. Off of the distance, you can see my lookout tower uh, that I showed off in the last video. And in this video, I'm going to show off a compact switching station. Uh, this is good for a uh, replacing Ys, which are large and uh, take up a lot of space, and the switches are very far apart. So you got to do a lot of running if you want to go change your path. This is for a two-lane system, but it can be used as a, um, a one-lane system. Often the distance going that way is the sawmill. Often the distance that way is the logging camp. And in the save file, I have not yet prepared the groundworks going there and back. Uh, that's This is going to be the route that goes there, and over here is going to be the lane that comes back. So if we want to go from the freight depot to the logging camp, all we have to do is stop here. Change this switch. Come over here. Change this switch and this switch. And then away we can go. I will return these to their default position. And it is helpful to have all the switches closer together because, especially whenever playing it single player, you don't want to do all that much running away from your train because you are definitely not as fast as the train can move. Unless you're talking about Betsy. Betsy is uh, one of the slower engines and you can run a little bit faster than it can go. I can uh, show you the setup. The setup's pretty easy. Start off with a switch left. And then a switch left again. This one's going to be going from the opposite direction. You, you, you'll have to line it up a little bit better than this, but basic concept. And then from here you will do the switch right and then turn around and then another switch left. Then you will connect up these two and you'll be able to go from that direction straight all the way through with only one switch and from the opposite direction you'll be able to go straight through but you will have a few switches that you'll have to make sure is in the proper alignment. And then from your offset destination, you can come back through and you can either go that way, or you can come back through from the opposite side or the side that you came from, then you can go that way. And it is a pretty simple, easy way to set up switching stations. Now, even with the medium render distance, you can get into a position where all of the switches 
are visible. And instead of demolishing the extra rail, I'm just going to lock out here. Thank you very much, and uh, good luck.